Welcome to topic 5, the internet and its uses. This is video 1 and we're going to be looking at the internet, World Wide Web, URLs, protocols HTTP and HTTPS, browsers and HTML. This is for the Cambridge IGCSC in computer science. So rather a large area to cover for this first video. So let's get started. The difference between the internet and the World Wide Web. Now, this, this is confusing. People think these are the same thing, unfortunately. People do think that these are the same thing, but they're not. Um, the word internet basically is short for interconnected network, since it is basically a worldwide collection of interconnected networks. The internet is actually a concept rather than something tangible. You can't touch it. It's, it's, there's nothing there. There's no hardware. It relies on a physical infrastructure that allows networks and individual devices to connect to other networks and devices. However, on the other hand, the World Wide Web, WWW, is only a part of the internet that users can access using web browser software. The World Wide Web consists of a massive collection of web pages and is based on Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP. The World Wide Web is a way of accessing this information using the internet. So the internet and the World Wide Web are actually quite different. So let's have a little look. Let's, let's try and summarize what we've just talked about. The internet. The internet is a means of connecting a computer to any other computer anywhere in the world. Internet can be viewed as a big bookstore. The internet is an infrastructure. Users can send and receive emails over the internet. The internet is primarily hardware based. The internet uses IP addresses. Whereas the World Wide Web, um, this is the information which can be accessed by the internet. If we view this as the books within the so-called big bookstore, the World Wide Web is a service on top of the infrastructure that which is the internet. It is a collection of multimedia web pages and other information on websites. The World Wide Web is, is more software orientated as compared to the internet and the World Wide Web uses HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. In order to view these web pages, we need something called a web browser. And you may be familiar with Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Edge, DuckDuckGo, and lots and lots of other browsers that are available or that have been available in the past. Web browsers are software which allow users to access and display web pages on their device screens. Browsers interpret hypertext markup language, HTML, sent from websites and produce the results um, on the user's device i.e. I've gone into Google, I've typed in computer science, this is in my Safari browser, and it pops some information about computer science. They have a home page, they keep a history of the websites visited by, um, by the user, uh, i.e. user history. They have the ability to allow the user to navigate forward and backwards through websites and web pages they've already opened. They can store a user's favorite websites, favorite web pages, um, maybe using bookmarks. They make use of cookies. Many web pages can be open at the same time by using multiple tabs, usually across the top. And they make use of hyperlinks that allow navigation between websites and web pages. They also use the address bar for you to type in addresses and type in sort of keywords through searches. The um, data is stored as a cache and they make use of JavaScript. There's a lot of features going on with the web browser. I want to talk about the actual address itself. This is called a uniform resource locator, i.e. URLs, okay, or URLs. So we've typed in the address, or we've got the address here, bbc.co.uk. It's broken up into, into several parts, the protocol, the web address, the path and the file name and these are put across the bottom here so you can identify what each one of them is but the protocol is usually either the HTTP or the HTTPS the S stands for secure and you can see that with a padlock here the website address is the domain host www website name and then what type it is a .com, a .org, a .net etc and sometimes other countries ie.co.uk, .de it for italy.cy for example the path is the web page but is often omitted and is then and it then becomes a root directory of the website there's the path 
and the file name is the item on the web page for example so you can see here computer programming is in the folder in the path computing which is on this website so how does this all work this um, looks rather complicated but trust me it's not what are the different protocols HTTP as you can see here hypertext transfer protocol it is a communication protocol it, de it defines how communication takes place between a browser and the web server HTTPS is basically HTTP where with encryption um, secure encryption the, dif the difference between the two protocols is that HTTPS uses TSL or SSL to encrypt normal HTTP requests and responses as a result HTTPS is far more secure than HTTP a website that uses HTTP has HTTP colon forward slash forward slash forward slash as its URL as its URL while a website that uses HTTPS has basically the same but with an S in it TLS little note here TLS stands for transport layer security and SSL which you might be more familiar with stands for secure socket layer they're both uh, cryptographic protocols that encrypt data and authenticate connection when moving data on the and around the internet okay little note there HTTPS it's got the padlock so that's great but how do we get these pages when we send a request when we type in an address how do we get those pages to be viewed on screen well let's take a moment to have a little look at this the use of domain names is a problem for machines since they communicate using IP addresses remember we talked about this in um, chapter 3 when we we're looking at hardware and we we're looking at network hardware in particular I think it's video 7 this is because the internet is based on TCP IP protocols internet protocols which use IP addresses for identifying devices so what happens we send a request we type in amazon.com this goes to a, um, a DNS server a domain name server so hence domain names given by humans must be changed to their specific corresponding IP address for this purpose there are name servers the entire system is called a domain name server or a DNS so I typed in amazon.com this went to a domain name server and they sent back to my computer the IP address for amazon.com the domain name server the DNS is a system for finding IP addresses for a domain name given in a URL it's essentially a phone book on the internet sort of phone numbers but this in this case IP addresses so with this IP address that's been sent back to my machine um, the URLs and the main name servers eliminate the need for a user to memorize IP addresses it would be very difficult to memorize all these different IP addresses so the computer uses the IP address and sends this to the actual server um, where the Amazon website is on um, once, once we've got the DNS server um, this HTTP response comes back to our computer and we can start shopping and that is the first video for chapter 5 thank you very much indeed for watching please 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 support the channel please continue to ask questions leave your comments hit notifications and please subscribe and finally if you wish to buy me a coffee I'd be truly grateful please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone thank you very much indeed see you next time Bye for now.